Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are having a great day. So, first things first, let's talk about uh, when you come on the channel, first thing you want to do is subscribe so you don't miss upcoming important information in cryptocurrency in the Zen project. Next, if you'd be so kind, like the video. Why do you want to like the video? If you like the video, these videos get pushed to the, the top of the YouTube algorithm, which basically means that uh, the billion plus users that frequent YouTube per day, uh, that means that uh, uh, they get to see this content, which is what we want in the Zen community. Uh, growing the network that equals more value for everybody. So those are some of the reasons you want to do that. You'll see a little bell notification at the top. Make sure you hit that. That lets you know the new source material that has become available. Okay. So good to do that. Not just on my videos, but the entire Zen community, right? That's what we want. We want Zen videos all over YouTube. So people are aware of what's going on. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about today's video. And it's a very interesting video based on some of the uh, earlier interviews with Jack Levin, right? And some of the more recent ones, right? Uh, rather, uh, that talks about what it would take for the Zen crypto project to, um, to basically uh, launch its own blockchain. Also, real quick, just want to put out here, uh, we're on the Bitcoin NYK site. This is the first proof of participation model that I came across in cryptocurrency. It was launched about now almost five years ago. Um, and it's generally just like social media material. If you can use social media, you earn cryptocurrency right through the site. One of the most easy, comprehensible ways for new people to be able to grow cryptocurrency to create it to mint it uh on our site and uh um, that's what makes it so great i think it is more comprehensible to anybody even your grandmother right so these are the type of projects we're looking for it's also free so bring yourself leave your pocketbook at home uh it was uh one of the first to ride ideas of proof of participation like what we're getting with Zen right now. So all very important stuff, right? So make sure you check us out today. We'll try to leave a link in the description. Join, support the cause, support all free cryptocurrencies because that's going to help us get rid of scammers. It's going to help with fair launches and so on and so forth. Um, so now let's talk about what Jack Levin had to say about Zen and being a first layer product. So, um, this is very interesting because uh, Jack Levin uh, talks about, in some of his latest videos, he he actually talks about um, uh, he could launch the Zen blockchain in a weekend. Now, I want you all to think a little bit about that. Think about a few things with that. So, many of you have come out of the Hex community, right? That's where many of you all uh, came from. And um, you know that going on, what, two, three years now, uh, Postchain hasn't launched yet, right? And so uh, the, the reason that this is uh, very surprising to many of us is that Many of us are, are led to believe that technology uh, is so hard and so difficult. Uh, excuse me, guys. About those, uh, I didn't turn off my notifications. I got to remember that. But uh, many of us are under the, the belief that technology is so hard and code is so hard and so on and so forth. And depending on what you're doing, that is true. I've dabbled with it a little bit. Very hard stuff uh, in some cases. But. Uh, to the point that it's taken years and years and years and billions of upon billions of dollars to uh, launch the post chain. And it hasn't launched yet. And many of us, a lot of information going around, you know, when you believe whatever part of it you want, but uh, some people uh, aren't very happy with it and they're wondering what's happening. So let's look at the reality of the situation. 
So Jack Levin is saying that, uh, and, and, and many developers know this, this is true, that you can just take source code of blockchains, launch a blockchain probably in the same day. You know, uh, just about uh, with testing and everything, you can probably go live in a weekend like Jack Levin saying. That's very true. Now, uh, you can use that source code, create your own chain and be up and running. Uh, the Zen community could have its own blockchain, would give the Zen cryptocurrency its own value, right? A, a, a use case. People can build on top of this blockchain. They can create their own cryptocurrencies on it and bring uh, value, infinite value to Zen, right? And seeing where Zen starts free, goes from free to something, right? To gains, to value. Seems it what makes sense, right? Seems like that's probably just on the roadmap or should be. And Jack Levin's more and more talking about it. I think he fully sees the community wants this and it's probably ideal for him to go in the direction the community wants, which he will do, I'm sure. And it will go down just like Jack's saying, where he can launch this thing within a weekend. And it will probably jump off like that. He's been pretty much on track with everything else he's done from the Zen project to the Zen FTs. Everything has launched without delay, has worked uh, fairly well. And there hasn't been any problems there, right? So, uh, you know, when I'm speaking about this, I'm, a, a lot of this is directed to the Hex community because a lot of people know about Zen, part of Zen are Hexicans, right? But one thing I think people should keep in mind if they find this unbelievable or they already knew this and was already saying that this is how things should have probably worked with the Hex community, post-chain and such, is that Richard Hart has always been on the, in the mindset of uh, under-promise and over-deliver. Excuse me again, guys. I'm sorry about that. Please bear with me. But he's been in that mindset. And... Uh, uh, that basically means that even if Richard Hart can <laughs> do something fairly easy, he's going to kind of put up the face of uh, where uh, it's difficult and uh, it was just hard to get it. Uh, it's kind of like the housewife that goes in the kitchen and she uh, bakes an instant cake. She acts like she makes it from scratch. She takes some flour, dabs it on her face, and she's done it in 30 minutes and she acts like it's taken her several hours, right? So this is kind of that idea of under promise and over deliver, right? Um, so the other thing is just in comparison, just for reference points, when we think about something like um, uh, um, uh, when we when we we think about the reasons post chain hasn't launched, trying to do this world biggest airdrop. Uh, trying to give out these free cryptocurrencies and such, and that's supposed to make the post product uh, unique and so valuable. I think many of us realize in reality that giving people a bunch of free cryptocurrencies without the development teams on your chain uh, can quickly equal worthless tokens, right? It's not saying that these teams are going to come over there and participate at all in these cryptocurrencies, you know? Uh, what's probably more reliable is that hexagons are going to trade hex and move the hex value and liquidity without the higher fees that they're getting on Ethereum because I do believe most people who trade hex will be there trading most of their hex there. Um, that uh, maybe some of the richer heart tokens will have pretty, you know, okay volume or, or such. But all these other cryptocurrencies, are probably like worthless to exist on post chain, right? You know, for the most part. And that's not to discourage people who are trying to launch their own projects on post chain, but the reality of the situation is that these these big free airdrops, as it were, uh, probably just uh, a waste of time. If that's what's held up the train and lost people and probably lost value and such, that's probably not a good idea. Now, I do agree with if Richard Hart is awaiting to launch a uh, post uh, during a bull market when everybody's doing good, when 
You, you, know, you just put your money in just about any cryptocurrency to get good returns. If that's the idea, I don't really see a good point in that, though, because if the entire cryptocurrency market is doing good and there's so much opportunity, uh, then, uh, you know, you don't so much need post-chain, do you? I think the idea of post-chain is, or the good idea, I would think would be for it to perform good when nobody else is doing it. So it can shine on the other cryptocurrencies and more people could come in and say, oh, this is the cryptocurrency we need to be in. And maybe we don't need to be in those other cryptocurrencies. Just how my mind thinking about it. If everybody's doing good, then every coin is good, right? So to speak. And that was the confusion in the early ICO days when people didn't really know the good projects from the bad projects. So that would be like post-chain saying, oh, we're not really a good project, but we're just gonna float in here and ride on the, to the coattails of everybody else doing good. So I, I don't know about that, but you guys can give me your opinions of that. Uh, I also think projects that are being built on Zen uh, uh, with a free cryptocurrency like Zen, having more development, more projects built around the Zen cryptocurrency makes a lot of sense would be idea for Zen. And I think it only puts more value back into Zen, right? I think being free on Ethereum uh, with the low liquidity it has now, yeah, it's going to probably be harder to substantiate the value of Zen, right? Probably going to be a little hard to get more people in Zen. But if it has its own blockchain and the, uh, the, the conversation quickly becomes, oh, it's valuable because Zen is a, a project that takes the load off Ethereum. It's an easy onboarding cryptocurrency for new people. It allows them to get it for free. It's fun and that novelty. So a lot of people come in just to mint it, you know, and say, oh, I got this free cryptocurrency that could be worth a lot one day without the high fees and the headache that they get with the uh, chains like Ethereum and such. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, also, the good news is I think the first proof of participation coin something like bitcoin nyk that would uh, that supports all free cryptocurrencies would be more than happy to have a presence there um as you can see uh the bitcoin nyk project already off to the races already pretty well established already in sync with ideas like zen uh, i think would only add more value existing on the zen blockchain there's going to be other projects that uh, and the developers exist on Zen on their own chain that's going to help further substantiate the value of Zen. Those are things to think about and the idea of what we get with Hexkins and Pulse of the uh, under-promise, over-deliver uh, kind of smoke and mirrors. <laughs> uh, so I, that's very interesting. It's very exciting to know that we're going to get this Zen first layer uh, chain, and it's probably gonna be sooner than we think, right? It's probably gonna be a lot sooner than we think. And so I'm excited to see, uh, you know, what that's gonna look look like. So before I get out of here, guys, uh, as you can see, a lot, a lot of people in our, uh, have Bitcoin and YK wallets, we uh, estimate, um, and, and you know, we, we came up with this idea of Bitcoin and YK like five years ago. We've been on mul multiple chains now for years, uh, keeping the, the same value of Bitcoin and YK, but uh, being able to transfer it from blockchain to blockchain. And this has existed for years, so it's not a copy of Zen. I would think that Zen is a copy of it, but free cryptocurrencies, we're fine with that. This is nothing like the situation we got with Hex and the Zen community where Richard Hart has repeatedly attacked the Zen community. There is a lot of harmony and unity with the core value of Bitcoin and YK and Zen, in my belief. So not that at all. We're, 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 we, if you get Bitcoin and YK and sell it for Zen, in fact, we think that's a good idea. Get Bitcoin and YK free, sell it for thousands or millions of Zen. And that makes um, a lot of sense. I think I'm going to do an upcoming video about sell Bitcoin and YK and uh, buy Zen for free, right? I think that's a good idea. I think these projects can work very well in that in that manner. Um, but that's all I think I want to say in this video. Join Bitcoin MYK today. Uh, uh, tell me what you think about Zen having its own blockchain. 
Uh, this can happen in a weekend. This can uh, probably be a launch as early as next week. All uh, Jack Levin has to do is make the decision to do that. And I think he is going to make the decision to do that. I think an idea Jack would have liked to have seen uh, Zen market cap get up pretty good and then go to that conversation about, okay, it's doing so well on Ethereum and such. Now let's move it to our own chain. But I think this might be one of those projects where it makes more sense to launch the chain, uh, go ahead and launch it as its own blockchain first. Uh, then you have a situation like Polygon, you have a situation like Binance Chain, and I think that'll grow the value quicker. And I do think people will be willing to mine it. Some people say people won't be able to willing to mine it for free, but let's take a step back and let's, let's think about a few things because I heard some content creators say that. But there have been many projects where people have mined the coin and they mined it and it's not even profitable. To, to And the reason they do that is because they have so much faith in that product that they see that uh, in the near future is probably going to be worth 100 times, 1,000 times, 10,000 times that. I, I think one project like that, again, excuse me, guys, I do apologize, but I think one project like that was Electronium, right? Uh, and uh, right, I don't hear much about it now, but it did work for a long time. And I think it could work for Zen a long time, long enough for Zen to get into a situation where um, people are in and it becomes a great, more useful, valuable, taking the load off of Ethereum fees and, and, and so on, right? But that's all I want to say in this video. Guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to join Bitcoin MYK. Join it. Get the free cryptocurrency. Sell it on exchange. Go buy a ton of Zen because at this point in time, it's not very profitable to mint Zen, right? It's, it's getting to the point where uh, it's going to cost you more to mint Zen than the value of Zen, at least in the initial stages. And in some cases, it might just be more uh uh you know uh make more practical to just buy zen that's not financial advice uh i'm all for free cryptocurrency not spending your money but if it just makes more sense you might want to you know consider it consider all these factors but that's all i want to say in this video until next time as always take care of yourselves and each other